So, as always, not ready. Um, so a little bit of a mad rush. Well, not a mad rush. Just if you start rushing, you end up breaking kit and stuff, don't you? So um, it's only a midweek 11 pegger, so I'm not going to go crazy. So just pin a bit of pinkies in my uh, dark round bait. So the seafooder at Spander Mix. Just going to cup in two balls at 30 meters down the peg out the way. Because I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to fish. So just a throwaway line. So we did have a hard frost this morning. Apparently it was minus three. I was quite surprised we didn't have any cat ice on the lake. Uh, especially with no wind. So... Happy days it wasn't frozen. I think if we have any more hard frost than it would, but obviously the weather's going to change. It's actually raining at the moment as we speak. Well, as I speak. Uh, started 18 metres to the island. Um, just I could have got another bit out, but it would have gone on up into the shallow water. So I was quite happy that I was just fishing off like the first shelf off the island. So I just tapped in some pellets and just fishing a four-minute spander pellet. Um, it's a bit slow to begin with, but looking around the lake, no one was really catching. Andy next to me chucked a waggler to the island and has had a carp, basically second chuck, probably about eight pound. So a great start for him. And fed nothing, just chucked it across. You can see him playing it now to, to my right on peg 16. So I'm just pinging a few pellets at 40 and a half meters in the deeper water, which is probably about six and a half maybe seven foot deep so quite a deep lake windmill for those who don't know it uh got plenty of swans the swans were absolutely starving today ever so friendly um surprising what uh people and things would do when they're hungry uh just up my first carp uh which unfortunately i did actually lose um and it did actually break me so it just you knew it was big because it just dug the bottom and then it just steadily just drifted to my left and uh, just come off. So, nightmare. Not the start I wanted. So, rig-wise, just fishing a 4x10 float. John Walker, just a thin, sort of like pencil float wire. And then just fished 014 to an 010. Um, arguably, maybe I should have fished slightly heavier, but then looking to catch F1, so I think you're better off fishing lighter. Trouble is, you could one of these carp, and then, you know, you run the risk of not getting it out, which has uh, proved quite costly today because I've actually lost two. So I lost one at, right at the beginning, which you just saw. My camera doesn't run or match. I actually lost one, which is a bit annoying, probably about eight pounds, which would have won me the section. I've got it down to a top kit, mindful that it might go crazy on light gear, and sure enough, it did. So um, I had to put some sections on and then uh, just followed it down the peg. And then, unfortunately, again, unfortunately, it broke me. So a um, bit of a frustrating day today, to be honest. Um, couldn't quite figure it out. So feeding hard pellets via catapult and open water only resulted in a few stockers and they sort of disappeared so to be honest with you for me i wish i just toss potted it everywhere the lake really did switch off about sort of quarter to one and uh, i just did not catch absolute nightmare so for probably about a good hour and a half i never had a fish um and everyone struggled to be fair so it wasn't like it was just uh you know, just me. It was it was everyone. Um, did have a, quite a nice sort of last 20 minutes, which did wake up Gary uh, Watts, who was watching me. Who did actually fall asleep because I was that bored. He was that bored, which was uh, not surprising. So I just fished um, Scranton's pellets, so nothing special, um, just coarse pellet. And just fished the lasso and expanders. That that was it, really. Just fished that everywhere, to be honest. I did put a ground bait and pinky line in, uh, only because I would run out of maggots, bless him. But I don't think that would have made any difference if I'd have fished maggots, to be honest with you. So I don't want to use that as an excuse. I always like fishing pellets at Manor Farm, to be honest with you. I think is one of the better baits. Don't get me wrong, a lot of the lads are catching on maggots. But even Chris Newton today struggled a little bit on... Um, Peg 22 on windmill. And then Lucas Boy, fair play, won the lake with uh, £49. 
I'll show you the weights now, look. To be honest. To be honest, I think Luke won uh, fishing eye pellets, um, just in open water. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure he did uh, catch on uh, his best line was on pellets, I think. Um, did fish maggots, did have some silvers. There's loads of silvers throughout all the lakes. Um, so obviously it's good silver sport. So if you're into like catching like skimmers and roach, there's a few big perch, especially in this lake as well, windmill. There's a few... Uh, Real big ones and in uh, boundary. So, if you like that kind of fishing, like maggots, then uh, definitely worth a visit. So, just doing like standard sort of pellet fishing, really. Um, just just tapping in a few pellets and just lifting and dropping and just just sitting there and being patient. Um, didn't <laughs> try to rotate lines when it so I did it did fade, and I did go more to my right. Um, and it just a nightmare. Just caught a couple of stockers and they just disappeared. The lake, like I say, the lake did s switch off about sort of like quarter to one. So I'm not sure why that happened. It just it just died and, and it happened on ash as well. So I don't know if it's due with the pressure or just we caught the idiot fish or just that sort of typical match where fish decide to stop feeding mid match. So yeah, um, like I say, ping and pellets and open water wasn't great. Uh, fishing a light rig trying to catch on the drop just didn't didn't happen that can be deadly here as uh, Glenn Picton said he caught really well doing that late um the ground bait line I sort of sacked it off really I, di I didn't really feel that I was going to do any good because Andy next to me's had an eight pound carp on the waggler and then he's had a double figure fish on the pole and I felt that you know I was never going to catch him up by fishing maggots so it would have been a bit of a tighter section and it turned out it was a lot tighter than I thought because he won it with 30. I had 26, and the lad next to me, fair play, beat me. Neil, he had uh, 27. So, you know, you can't say it wasn't fair because, obviously, then wait to say it all, really. Um, had a nice day. It, it, it was really good. It took a while to get going. It took about 15 minutes to get my first bite, which I lost. And then um, probably took maybe about 25 minutes to get them going. And then, it, like I say, it just went a bit funny. So I don't know if I fed too much or or what. Maybe I nicked too many fish off that line. So maybe I should have come off feeding fish and, and, and fished in open water with a quite a heavy sort of positive rig. I think when you fish the spander pellets on this windmill lake, because there's a lot of roach, you've got to fish a heavier rig, in my opinion. You wouldn't be fishing like a sort of 0.6, even maybe a 0.8 on the spanders to get that soft delicate bait straight down the bottom because if you fish a light rig you just get ragged so you know a lot of the roach just take it on the drop so something to something to worth consider something to bear in mind core tongue tied um anyway i hope you enjoyed the video uh i'm going to sign off now so if you want to watch the rest of it then great um look after yourself and who knows what's going to happen in the uh in the new year of 2022 so uh see what boris says and we'll go from there anyway we we'll wish you merry christmas and a happy new year and the most important thing is look after yourself see ya
Definitely felt like Dr. Doolittle today with all the uh, wildlife, the ducks and the swans and the herons and the seagulls, etc. Um, cat potting was definitely better than ping in, 100%. Um, what do you call it? Just just feeding a few few fours and a bit of micros. The fish definitely seem to like micros, which is a bit of a nightmare because you're fishing in. Like, seven foot of water and you're feeding next to nothing so feeding like a little tiny nugget of micros i don't know if that'd be the right thing to do um so something definitely food for thought that i need to sort of sort out i mean to be honest i didn't really suffer that badly foul looking in that deep water the only issue was they did fade really quick so i don't know if it was the time of day where the middle part of the match was getting really, really tough. Like I said, I went, went for an hour without any fish. So um, maybe then, maybe I could have fished maggots, but just open that maybe I catch a couple of decent fish, you know, and then that would get me right back in the game. So, you know, fair play. There's a lot of these little stockers around. Um, so fish of the future.